Good morning, Africa. Ekaro, Africa. Molo, Africa. Inakwana, Africa. Bonjour, Africa. Saubona, Africa. Good morning, Africa. Welcome back to your biggest and brightest breakfast show across the African continent. It's, of course, Good Morning Africa. Now, to start things off, we are going current. And we take you all the way to Nigeria, where Anu had a very interesting chat with Honorable Robinson. Now, he's going to tell us more about Oran Federal Constituency, Aqua Ibon State, Nigeria. Let's check out what they have to say. Hello Africa, I'm Anu Michael and I hope you're having an amazing morning. Well, today I'm presently here at the National Assembly in Abuja, Nigeria. And I have here with me on the program the Honorable Robinson Uwak, who is representing the Oron Federal Constituency, Akwaibom State, Nigeria. Thank you so much, sir, for coming on the program. Thank you, Anu. Okay. So, of course, my first question actually will be if you can enlighten us a bit more about yourself and the duty your desk performs. Well, um, my name is uh, Honorable Robinson Owak. Um, I'm an Oron man. <laughs> uh, currently, I represent uh, the, a constituency called Oron Mbu, Reform Oruko, Okobo, and Udungoko Federal Constituency yeah. here at the National Assembly. Thank you so much for that, sir. I'm quite sure that there are a lot of responsibilities you have representing your people, and I'm quite sure that coming into position, you have a lot of set goals and objectives, and you have like a long list of things that you would love to settle with the house to make sure that you know your community continues to get the best that it should from the government. What are the set goals and objectives? What are you hoping to achieve in the next four years? Okay, um, basically, um, I'm a businessman turned politician okay. and um, I had to step in to represent my people I had to take a break off you know um, active business to represent my people okay. I have you know uh, a major inspiration my major inspiration is the fact that I am an Oran man and as an Oran man I cannot see, you know, sit back and watch, you know, the kind of representations that my people here to had, you know, continue. So what I've decided to do is to come in, you know, and, you know, redefine representation. What I'm trying to do within these four years is to prepare a template, you know, such that anybody who you know, in future, you know, get into this office to represent the other people would know exactly what to do, would understand exactly what representation is for okay. my people. That's wow. just uh, what I'm about, yeah. Looking at the community, how are you fitting in your goals and objectives into seeing, you know, that the youth gets a lot of activities, a lot of empowerment. I want to quickly go to the definition of empowerment, youth empowerment. Okay. What is really youth empowerment? Okay. Because, um, you know, over time, because of the kind of uh, politics that we play in Nigeria, you know, youth empowerment handouts have been hmm. interpreted to be youth empowerment. Hmm. I believe that when a youth is empowered, then he, it has, that empowerment must have sustainability. You should be able to you know, drive your future from okay. that singular empowerment. Like, like I explained earlier, giving out handouts are mm. not empowerment. So you would not find me you know, engaging in 
you know, uh, this uh, flamboyant, you know, uh, make-believe kind of empowerment programs because that is actually what most people pride themselves in as empowerment. Okay. Now, the first step I've taken towards uh, uh, achieving what, you know, we, we, I would term as empowerment is that I have been able to establish a well-equipped ICT center within the constituency. Hitherto, there was, I mean, the people of my constituency had no access to uh, basic internet services. Wow. And um, what we're doing there now, we're trying to make sure, because the age that we live in now is a jet age. You can hardly get anything done without the, uh, the internet. The electronic. Yeah. So what we're doing currently is that a, a youth can walk in there, and they are trooping in in their numbers, I can tell you. <laughs> they can walk in there and get basic computer knowledge so that you can be able to, you, you, the, the youth, you know, within the constituency, they are not limited. Mm -hmm. If you want to apply for a job anywhere, you have to go online. Today, if you want to do businesses, you have to go <laughs> online. online. There's hardly anything that you do without going online. So w what I've made sure is that the youths are getting trained so that okay. even with the kind of exposure that I want to, you know, you know attract to the constituency and also expose the youth of the constituency to, you need to, you know, they need, they need to be proficient in, you know, the use of computers because, uh, like I said earlier, hardly can you get anything done in these days. So, um, secondly, we have, uh, as a person, okay. I do not believe in thinking within the box. Okay. I do not believe that, you know, you must gain an employment somewhere before you can leave because well, the, the mentality that um, you know a lot of uh, young people these days have is that um, you go to school you come out you get a job mm -hmm. and that's life for you but I really do not believe in that I believe that there's so much in the average Nigerian youth that if given the necessary yes. you know uh, uh, tools to explore them they can be anything I believe that we have, you know, uh, bank owners, we have CEOs of, you know, uh, uh, ag agricultural uh, 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 companies, we have CEOs of marine-based uh, uh, service providers within the constituency. I see a lot of uh, uh, potentials in the youth of my constituency, you know, given the, you know, God-given um, uh, resources that we have abound, you know. Mm -hmm. So what I'm doing basically now is to begin to, you know, uh, sensitize them. For those who want to, you know, have a career, for instance, in the oil and gas sector, we've been able to open the doors on this angle, the, you know, the recognition, okay. uh, because the, 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 the companies are going to be signing MOUs, you know, with the host communities, which would include, you know, employment. employment. Okay. Mm. So what more do we look forward to from, you know, your desk, uh, from the desk of Honorable Robinson at work? You need to come in from time to time because <laughs> we are constantly <laughs> cooking up things for the people of our constituency. Yeah, okay. So you need to, you know, come in from time to time, check out the thing, the kind of uh, uh, packages that we are brewing for our people. Okay. Because it's, uh, like I said, what we do here is hard work, smart work. Oh. We are constantly trying to, you know, uh, look at different areas and tackle issues as they come. As they so come. Okay. feel free to come by any time. <laughs> Okay, we well, thank you on that invitation. And on that, <laughs> I would have to say a big thank you for, you know, letting us bring you on the program to talk yeah. about your, how you're affecting your constituency and basically your community. I've been having this amazing chat with the Honorable Robinson Uwak.